Henry Nouwen said, Grateful people are those who celebrate even the pains of life because they trust that when harvest time comes, the fruit will show that the pruning was not punishment but purification. I'm gradually learning that the call to gratitude asks us to say, everything is grace. We must fully embrace our past with gratitude towards a God who deals with us with grace. So as we celebrated our 50, church's 58th anniversary last week, our hearts are filled with gratitude. And now we transit into a season of Advent. We celebrate the bread of life being born in Bethlehem, the house of bread, so that we may be given the bread for life and have it abundantly. And for that, we give thanks and praises to God and learn to say, everything is grace. I remember when I was in Oxford in 2017 for the Theology Summer School. One night, I was wrestling with the topic of joy and asked God about it. A few minutes later, I walked into the student lounge and there was an elderly lady there. Of the thousands of summer school students, I ran into this lady who has been a missionary to Thailand for over 40 years. And so we had this long conversation about joy and I've never spoken so much to a stranger before. At the end, she shared this verse. Psalm 16 verse 1, You will make known to me the path of life. In the presence of God is the fullness of joy. In your right hand, there are pleasures forever. May we find joy and gratitude as we practice the presence of God in all areas of our lives, past, present and future. And say, everything is grace. God bless.